nigga. Tito six, favor for favor, right? Right for my homie Biz. If it wasn't for proof, man, I would have stopped rapping. Kept taxing the street. Basically, how I got started in the DJing, you know, I used to watch uh, Beat Street, Crush Groove, you know, um, Breaking. And I came across my mentor, DJ Bad Mitch Rick. And it's someone I, I really look up to um, and respect, you know, because he was DJing since he was 13. And he had the opportunity to, like, make some all kinds of radio stations. So being that I was working in internet radio, it was definitely, like, a new experience for me. Because, um, you know, there wasn't really a job that was open um, in San Antonio you know, that, that was hiring, so just like anybody else, you know, whatever whatever you can't get into, just keep doing you, and that's what I did. I never have to touch shit, you'll just get amused when I come through, cause I got cash money, the cop blew his great cues. I started with Shadyville DJs a couple years ago. Um, basically, Shadyville DJs is um, it's a family. It's like it's like a private club. I really believe in the movement. I love the music, you know, because Shadyville DJs is not just like some DJ crew. You know, Shadyville DJs is. Um, it's a movement, you know, it's it's an affiliation to G-Unit, Shady Aftermath, you know, and to be part of that movement is epic because you're there, you know, you're breaking the records. Trust me, I tell you puffy and you can lose big. People are always asking me, you know, what's with the whole toucan bird type of thing, you know, you start talking about toucans and Kaliki Dakas and all this other stuff and you're like, what kind of language is that if that is a language? And so, I, you know, I call it like two Canadian. I'm not just fixated on a certain type of genre. I like to listen to everything. So anytime that you see like that damn two can, you know, or the two can bird in the club or on a mixtape, you could expect that it's going to be hot. Pow! So basically like what pow is, um, you know, uh, who kid, DJ who kid, uh, like I said, 50 Cent's official DJ, you know, the mixtape king, the number one bootlegger DJ of the world. Um, he started branding this word POW, you know, and so I saw how he was doing it. And it was really cool because, you know, POW replaced the word cool. POW replaced the word wow. At least in my opinion, it's all about the delivery. So you run into someone like, hey, you know, you'd be like, POW, you know, like, what's up, you know, or like, Yo, you know, you see, you see that girl over there, you know, like, like she's looking, she, she's like thick, you know, like her body's not so dilapidated, but she's just got this nice curvy lava lamp type of thing going on for her. So, you know, you just kind of looking back and you're like, pow, feel free to say it anytime you want. Like if you're having a bad day, pow, you know, if you're having a great day, pow, if you won the lottery, pow, you know what I mean? So is that, this is crazy. Well, uh, I've been working on a lot of mixtapes as of late. Um, some of like the really coolest mixtapes um, that I've been working on. Uh, I just did one recently, you know, with uh, uh, this artist in San Antonio. His name's Precision of uh, Throwbill Entertainment, and uh, you know, it was that it was all original music. He did a, uh, some of those records with another artist named Jay Ellis, and you know, it was it was a real cool project. We've been going full fledged on promo, like with coast to coast mixtapes. You know, Shadyville DJs, um, you know, Hoopla Media, you know, just help, really helping get that word across like this dude, you know, is definitely something different because he's taking not just hip hop and R&B records, but he jumped on a dubstep record, you know, and he did his thing on it, you know, and dubstep is going to become that new genre of dance music that's getting real popular out right now. It's definitely like a really cool thing. You know, to be working with him on that project, you know, um, it's called Rise and Shine Volume 1 and, you know, hosted by me, um, mixed by me, and it's just, it's real cool to be working with him on the project and I'm glad that him and his, and his fans and everybody out there really has embraced it to us. So that's one of the mixtapes that I really like working on, which was recently, um, you know, another mixtape, you know, that's real, real clean, real dope. Uh, of course, the sights and sounds. You know, it was uh, put together by uh, you know myself and DJ Who Kid, and it was showcasing Swiffa of Campaign Music. 
Um, you know, that mixtape is all original music produced by Fave the Phenom. Um, and also uh, one of the tracks on there, uh, which I believe is track five or track six, called This Is, was actually produced by Street Runner, you know, who's, um, you know, who's got a great relationship with Lil Wayne and the whole Young Money, Cash Money fam over there. So um, all in all, I would say, you know, Rise and Shine, Volume 1, um, you know, and of course that really epic, you know, like dope mixtape, sights and sounds, you know, it was really cool. Um, you know, one of my favorites, uh, and to this day, you know, one of my other favorites is Contract 1.5, which was like one of Swift's like original tapes, um, you know, and it was really cool because like, to, to see how this artist progressed so rapidly within the last year, last two years, it's, it's incredible. And for him to do all original music now is dope. And you know, I really, I really think it's a, it's an interesting concept. You know, and we got, I still got more big tapes that I'm gonna be releasing. Um, you know, uh, but right now, like I say, sights and sounds. Um, you know, rise and shine. Um, volume one. You know, of course, Grind City Radio. Real dope project with DJ Mandog from Shade 45. Uh, those were it. So, what can you expect more from the two can bread in the future? Well, basically, you know, um, I'm really hoping to be, you know, that first person that really introduces everyone to a different sound of music. Quick story, you know, it was like it was about a it was about a month ago, and a buddy of mine calls me at a grocery store, and he was like, "Yo." He says, um, I bought this magazine, and I was looking through it, and you happen to be on the page. Um, it was, uh, it was the May, it was the May issue of, uh, Hip Hop Weekly. Um, you know, it was, uh, it was really, really cool. This was a great opportunity for me. Um, you know, and it, it talks about everybody that I've been working with, and, you know, it was definitely a good thing. So, again, big shout out to Tito6. You know, we got that Cartel Conda dropping pretty soon um, and then of course you know big shout out to Cassius of uh, Shady Records we drop in that Homeland Security 2 project you know uh, big shout out to Masacre Musica um, you know we will be doing a lot more with De La Ghetto, Alex Kaiser, the, the Masacre Musica DJs, Mr. Promo the dude that's really helping me putting it on for all the Latinos and helping spread the word of the toucan if you will you know, um, and that's basically what it is, man. We definitely do it. The the Nos Fuimos ENT brand, you know, Rico the Barber, you know, uh, good friend Nisi, you know, like just everybody that's been supporting me, you know, from the start, that, that has followed my career. That's what it's about, you know, to have this kind of support is, is really a blessing. Big shout out, uh, you know, Mashup Records, my partner DJ Batman's Rick. Make sure you check out his stuff on iTunes. Uh, Mashup Records Radio, uh, of course, big shout out to Campaign Music, we campaign music all day, every day, you know, um, and of course, you know, big shout out to, to coast to coast mixtapescom you know, leading source for mixtapes, uh, Shadyville DJs, we breaking records all day, every day, we are the BDS kings, you know, um, and of course, you know, big shout out to my new family, Masacre and Musica, you know, we'll be working with them real soon on a bunch of projects. And you know, to all the all the all the believers, because they're not fans, believers of Masacre Musica, De La Quero, Alex Kaiser, these artists that are really putting it out, all the Masacre Musica DJs, you know what I mean? Like just really putting it on for all the Latinos out there, you know, just that's that's basically what it is and you know, shout out to you know all all the artists that I've been working with lately, you know, uh, Super C3, you know, Boloski, La Elegancia, you know, Yeye, Ye, Dinamico, Jan Weiss, The Beat Machine, Julio Ecatras. Follow me on Twitter, at that damn toucan. Uh, log on to my website, jcfloresonline.com. You know, um, and again, check out the radio series I do with my partner, DJ Bad Mix Rick. We just had one lately. When you have time, make sure you log on, www.latmix.com. Please vote. I got nominated for the best Midwest and DJ in the U.S. Make sure you stay tuned because the two camper will be coming at you real soon. And if you don't know, now you know. Make sure you check out that frequency because all my two cans of Guriki Dakas out there is going to raise up your electricity because this is how we do it right here. Bad grammar. Enough said. And big shout out to my fam, Score More. Let's keep it popping. This is the two camper, JC Flores, of course, that damn two can.